Your mom is gonna lose her mind. I can't even think about it. I'm losing her <laughs> mind. The Stairway to Heaven in Austria. This is a ladder between two mountains that's 43 meters across and 700 meters above an abyss. And we climbed it. But let's take it back to the beginning. Our day started at the bottom of the mountain in our lovely guest house called From there we headed to the cable car where we found hundreds of other hikers eager to climb the Klettersteig. The ride was 16 euros round trip and only about 15 minutes or you could climb an hour to an hour and a half up the mountain. All right, while we're online, let's introduce the crew. That's our boy Jason, you know Kiefer. Here's our friend Caleb, and bird person himself, David Bird. And that's me, team. Okay, so they basically pack you in there like sardines. So take off your backpack and just enjoy the ride. It's a beautiful view. Giovanna, my teacher. Kept trying to take videos of us for our last words. Aww. Yeah. Oh, she was like, you're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> After you take the cable car up, it's about a 15 to 20 minute hike to the beginning of the clutter stag. The line to start was kind of long, so we stepped to the side and geared up. This is a good time to do any last minute pee breaks because you don't really have many opportunities while you're on the clutter stag. And to the start we go. Jason here is going to give us a quick example of how the Via Frati kit works. You basically have two carabiners connected to your harness, and with one hand on the wire, you're going to move the carabiners one by one over the anchor. While yes, you are safe and hooked in, you really don't want to fall because you'll slide down to the closest anchor, and then your extension pack could release, and you could be dangling off this wire, and even potentially really hurt your back. So just make sure you're sure-footed and always have one hand on the wire when you're changing the carabiners. Okay, here we go. So from the start, you have about two to three hours of Klettersteig or Via Ferrata before you get to the ladder. If you've never heard of a Via Ferrata or Klettersteig before, it's basically a combination of hiking and rock climbing. You're literally scaling the side of a mountain just hooked into that wire. Sometimes you'll come across these small pegs that you can either step on or grab onto, but other than that, it's just kind of you, this wire, the mountain, and your two carabiners. Climbing up this ladder right now on top of this big ass mountain with the with some cool last friends the clutter stike before the ladder kind of ranges in difficulty hi there are parts where you go straight up across down and even parts where you really don't have to clip in and you can just walk this whole part of the Klettersteig was so fun. We had such a great crew, the views were incredible and it just went by so quickly. <sighs> Where did you come down? That's not important. And then finally, <laughs> we see the ladder. Oh shit, yep, I see that ladder. Where all the people look like tiny little ants. That's one of the ladders that we're about to go and climb. Nothing to see here. Oh my god. <laughs> Bird, anything you want to tell your parents? Uh, um, yeah, M Mark gets my PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> wow, lucky Mark. Yeah. <laughs> All right, spoiler alert, Mark did not get the PlayStation. And then from here, just a few more minutes until the big show. Ah! Give me a smile. All right, we have made it. We are at the ladder. And oh boy, that is looking scary. <laughs> If you're thinking in this video that that ladder looks scary, I swear to you in person, it looked 10 times scarier. We're going up that. Well, let's get to it. Okay, so here's the beginning. You have to clip in and wait in line while the other people go. I think there's a max of three people on the ladder at a time. You can see from my first three steps that that ladder is shaking. So you clip your carabiners in, one on each side, and put your hands underneath of them and just kind of scoot them up as you go. Just like before, there are anchors about every 7 to 10 feet, so you do have to unclip your carabiners and clip them back around the anchor. Basically meaning you're holding on with one hand every time you unclip your carabiner. The ladder consists of two wires, one on each side for your hands, and then these thin little iron rungs for your feet. You have to be super careful with each step because the rungs are placed kind of far apart and it would be really easy to slip through. 
And basically the higher up you go, the more shaky it gets. So you really have to have a tough mental state going up this. Got that mid-stair wobble going on. <laughs> Keep your eyes focused on each step, each rung, and don't look down past the rung. None of the five of us are really afraid of heights, but I swear you look down or you look left and you just think, what, what am I doing? This is terrifying. This is definitely, holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, holy oh my God. But I have to say it is a pure adrenaline rush. You're scared, but you're like the fun scared. And you just feel so accomplished when you get to the top. But then you think, wow, I did this 43 meter ladder above a 700 meter abyss. The hard part is done. No, no, it's not. You get to the top of this ladder and the hardest part begins. Our footage doesn't do it justice, but after the ladder, you have to get off the ladder just onto the flat side of a mountain and then continue upwards. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. And look what we're climbing up right now. Holy sh That's Caleb way down there. Bird, Jason, Bean, she's coming up. This Basically part, again, up. you have to have a tough mental state, take it one step at a time, and not rush. Just make sure that you're really sure-footed, always have one hand on the wire, and you know what? Maybe just don't look down so much because you are so high from the ground. Oh, God. And as our friend Nemo says, <sighs> Swim or die, really. We made it. We made it. Oh, my. Everyone's alive. Here's the uh, top point. Across here. It's always across. <sighs> Holy pinto beans. Welcome up, bird. Welcome. Sa. How you feeling? Feeling great. Great? Yeah. <laughs> Change. <laughs> a lot. Yes, there was a lot. Yes, sir. That was a lot of rocks. Sure was. Yeah. A lot of rocks. A lot of fun rocks. And one by one, we all made it up to the summit where we joined a bunch of people who had just done the same wild thing. Needless to say, we were beyond exhausted. At the top, we all signed our name in the book, shared a beer, took some photos, and then were rewarded with the most excellent view. Kiefer, tell us what you thought. So dope. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Loved it. A couple oh. things to note if you are going to come out here and do it, it is very difficult in a lot of parts. Um, it does get very challenging. So if you're not used to pulling your like body weight, hanging onto this cable, uh, you know, maybe do a couple of other ones before you do this one. But this one is awesome. You know, if you're, uh, you know, not terrified of heights, or even if you are but want to overcome it, this was just killer yeah it's such a good time there's people of all ages all body shapes but it, it does this one does require I would imagine probably a bit of effort you know and a good mental state definitely so Kayla's doing the topless photo over yeah, here exactly so, yeah. <laughs> and now time for our only complaint we watched this video and this guy played it off like the hike was just you know this nice easy thing all the way down you just, you just hike down for an hour no problem no let's hike Sucks. Yeah, there'd be like the milkmaids on the side, yeah, right here in the like the leader hose and things, right. pictures of beer. beer, and just <laughs> instead we have jagged ass rocks. My I knees. felt like I felt like I've fallen more times on this than I did the entire parada. Yeah, like it's rough, but uh, we're here to be honest. Yeah, we're we're here to tell you the truth. Not to pretend like this is a easy, sweet, blissful hike on the way down. Is this, does this look easy, sweet, and blissful? I mean, out here it looks very blissful and sweet, and there are cows down there. Down here, by your feet. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> then you look like, down. Looks like you're gonna get hurt. Yeah. But after an hour down some steep, jagged rock, we finally found flat land. That trail. What? I liked it. No, you didn't. Did you like it, Jason? Not at all. We spent the rest of our evening celebrating with beer, 
an apple strudel, and then we took the last cable car down. Which, P.S., if you missed that, you have to walk down, so definitely make sure you get that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that this video helps you either plan your trip to the Donor Kugel Klittersteig or that you just had fun watching us do something totally wild. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Please leave any questions that we may have left unanswered or share any experiences that you've had. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. You can also follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and we have a Facebook page going. Thank you so much for watching, and we so look forward to hearing about your adventures to the stairway to heaven in Austria.